is an amazing man of God, super talented artist, Grammy Award winning, anointed, dear friend of ours. Make welcome from Nashville, Tennessee, Jason Craig. <laughs> Somebody testify 
Yeah. 
God in this way. Oh, I'm telling you what, he's good God, isn't he? Yeah. Boy, it sure is good to be here tonight. Look at y'all. It is just a joy. It feels good in here. Yeah. It feels good. This crowd's glad to be in Cali. <laughs> We've had a journey. My daughter and I are on a journey. Well, I was turned around. And... Hi, y'all. <laughs> You're not my daughter. I thought she was sitting back there, but I'll claim y'all. Y'all <laughs> Anyways, we've been on a journey. It's been really neat. Um, started at home a few, I don't know, it seems like last week, I think it was. <laughs> and left and uh, flew into Atlanta to fly to Missouri and was in Branson for about three days. They lost our luggage, which is fantastic. <laughs> I had to do a date in my sweatpants. And I, I'm serious. I, I borrowed a, uh, a great big hoodie from somebody. And I uh, had a ball cap that was uh, wrapped around my. Yes, it was gorgeous. <laughs> somebody, somebody, somebody told me, they said, man, we knew you was kind of getting, you know, kind of relaxed these days. You know, they said, that. when you walked out, they was like, man, this is, boy, this is real relaxed. <laughs> so then I began to tell them kind of what had happened, and, uh, and so uh, it was a lot of fun. Finally, a, a day and a half later, we got our bags back. And, Thank God I got my guitar, and that was wonderful. I was excited about that. And then we uh, flew out here and uh, sold from Branson to, uh, to California. And uh, so we're excited about that. Last night was absolutely beautiful. I love this family. I know that you know that I do. I love the Mann family so very much. They are absolutely, truly, truly, truly Nobody in the world wants them. I've never, <laughs> this is in the now. I've never met anybody like them. You can ask my family. We have been all over the country. I've been all over the country for about 30 years of my life. I've toured about 170 dates on an average for the last 30 years of my life. I've had more church than some of y'all have even been to church. Since <laughs> some of you've been alive. Uh, but anyway, some of you not, I can tell. But, um, it's, it's, there's nobody like this family. I've never met it. When the tornado hit our house, trees were everywhere. A fence was in, just tore up my, my boat dock that I had there. It was in my neighbor's yard. And, and uh, it threw the, the patio furniture over the house. It was laying in the road. Uh, it, I was in Houston, Texas. My wife was at home with my girls. And uh, I was on the phone with them when it hit. Uh, we were praying Amen. together. Amen. My wife, I've never heard any prayer like that in my life. And boy, I'm going to tell you, it shook me. Yeah. You want to know the first people that were there? The man came. Oh. They were there. Oh. Helping me. Big trees out of yards and pull stuff out of, I, I mean, it was just everywhere, wasn't it? It was just crazy. I look around and David's up in a tree. <laughs> Him. I said, get down from there. We don't need any more mess. You know? <laughs> but I love this family so very much. And thank you for loving me. Amen. Man family, thank you for letting me Amen. be a part of this wonderful people. Amen. Amen. Thank you for having me. Man, I'm forward to this. I know you didn't come to hear me talk and ramble and tell about how much you know, all that savvy thing. <laughs> Not everybody, but too bad. <laughs> I'm a little savvy right now. And then we go from here, we're going to Israel in the morning. <laughs> so we're going to be, uh, we're going to go. I'm going to tell you what, we're going to have a prayer meeting here in just a little bit. Crabs don't like the clock. <laughs> Fourteen hours from here to there in the name of Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. We're going to just uh, <coughs> give it to me, whatever it is. <laughs> See 
Tuesday. So be tuned in, be listening. There's some great things that's going to happen there if you want to be a part of that. You want to be talk to you when we're done, by the way. <laughs> okay. Uh, I love it. Thank you so very much for being here. His son is here tonight. Stand up and wave at everybody. Yeah. surprise for you. You ready for your surprise? Yeah. Yes, Ashley, yeah. this is my beautiful daughter. She, uh, she was off to college at Lee University, which was in the Voices of Lee, and uh, was there for a year and a half. And finally, I just said, hey, an education out on the road with that. <laughs> it's a lot cheaper. <laughs> I didn't mean that. Didn't mean that. <laughs> but it's the truth. Uh, one of the greatest hearts, one of the greatest anointings, and I'm so excited about her future. And I asked her if she would sing for you tonight. Is that okay? Yeah. <laughs>
somebody say. <laughs> Fantastic job. <laughs> so when we get back from this trip, she's going to the studio, and we're going to cut that song with her. We're going to orchestra yeah. and yeah. maybe in the choir. And then she, she's starting to work on her record. So yeah. uh, God is, uh, yeah. it's going to be fun. Amen. Got some original song music. I know we're going to send it. As soon as we get it, we'll send it up here to A&B. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we know that guy now. <laughs> <laughs> so let me, I, if, I'm not going to, well, every place that I go, I always go back and grab a hold of some of the songs that I grew up singing. Yeah. Yeah. My, my family traveled out on the road for uh, 14 years. I was 16 years old when I went out on the road, and uh, I've been on the road for 30 years. I've been solo now for 16, more than what I traveled with the family. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, I know. Isn't that crazy? So anyways, I always like to go back and just pay some tribute just a little bit to my family, and I and do some of those old songs. If it's okay, I'm gonna do a few of them. Right? And I'm gonna have sweet Ashley here to help me out and sing some of these songs. Will you sing with me on these? Yeah. Good. <laughs> People said I'd never make it. Said I'd never see it through. Stop. 
very, very sweet, and thank you so very much, Pastor, for allowing us to be here. I love your family. Y'all just, they're so cute, and everybody's so <laughs> nice and good looking. And did y'all have an ugly one at all? <laughs> we just threw them out. It's a beautiful, beautiful family. And thank you so very much. I, who do I turn it over to? You'll take it? Oh, good. Yes. That's a sharp jack of all, oh, man. It's nice. You're looking sharp. Jason? Yes? Hold on just a second. Let me just do this. Uh, we're going we're gonna to have to do a selfie here with the crowd. Oh, yeah. You want me to do it? church. I said, man, I don't know if I've got the room to have Jason Crabb. Go ahead, have it at Keys again. They did. And they and then, then about six, nine months ago, she said, hey, can we have Jason Crabb at your church? I said, I'm not going to be stupid again, all right? We're not going to do that. We're going to have, I'm going to have Jason on, on, on my stage. It's so cool. <laughs> so cool. But man, I, I, uh, I can't believe it. You've been doing solo work longer than, yeah, I was there at NQC 2006 when you guys walked off the stage, I'll never forget it, it was their, it was their last stand, and uh, they were uh, singing a song, and they said, everybody just close your eyes, start singing along, and uh, I closed my eyes, lifted my hand, prayed, and I opened my eyes, they're gone, and man, I was like, whoa, that's a moment right there, a moment I'll never forget, yeah. Your family is very, just very special. It, it, it was everybody was singing in the audience, and I forgot what we were, we were singing. Uh, because he lives, yeah. I think it was. Amen. Bill Gates' song. And everybody closed their eyes and had their hands raised, and then we just backed off and laid the microphones down, and walked off stage, and they finished the concert. Yeah, and it was just a it was great. Beautiful moment. It was great because they had, they had a. I mean, the Crab family. I don't. How many remember the Crab family? Tons of people. And they were what I like to call uh, the Collingsworth the first time around. All right, so, yeah. Some crustacean But that, that was just a, such an amazing moment. They had this great run. So many number one hits. People loved them. And I loved it because it, it, that showed me, Jason, who you and the family was. Because it, it wasn't like, hey, this is our last concert in front of... 20,000 people at the Freedom Hall in, in Louisville, Kentucky. Wow. It wasn't, it, you stepped off and said, it's not about us. Right. It's about the King of Kings. Yeah. And man, that was, that left a mark on me. I couldn't hold it together, man. I was, of course, I got into cheap seats that day and I was just up in the wings, just crying and bawling and squalling. And, and it's kind of what we do. <laughs> Thank you guys for being here. We're going to, take an opportunity here to bless the people who have come to bless you. And I know you've come out to hear an amazing concert. This is has been free of charge to get in. <laughs> Let's see you all get out in a hurry. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. No, no. Uh, this
this this offering, uh, if you're making out a check, make it to the Man Clan. M A N N. Two N's. Uh, this offering uh, is going to the Man Clan, and they're going to take care of Jason. Uh, if you have a debit card or a credit card, scan that right now with your phone. You could just take a picture of it, tap on it, and it'll take you right to the link, and you can use your credit card. But listen, I want you to be generous here today. I, how many would like to have Jason Crabb continue to come out to California? All right? Right here. Right here. So my wife's already got the checkbook out. We're going to put our money where their mouth is. And this church is going to be supporting this cause because we want this to continue. But they're like, can we pay you to use your facility? I'm going to pay you to bring Jason to my to church. Are you kidding me? But so... Thank you so much. We did whatever we could to squeeze as many people as we could. Man, we got five people in the sound booth. And uh, just, just, so thank you for squeezing in. And it's been awesome. And we're going to make sure the air keeps running for you. Uh, and uh, try to keep it as cool as possible. But again, uh, make checks out to the Man Clan. And we're going to have, uh, we got a couple of ushers down here. We're going to pass the plate between. Yeah, I'm going to pray over this. And then we're going to have a little bit of music. And uh, we're going to. Uh, talk about some of the upcoming concerts in just a second. But Father, thank you for this crowd that's come to get it today. Thank you for Jason. Thank you for the Man Clan. And thank you for these many gifts and talents that you've given them and they didn't bury. They multiplied them, Lord. And you took from those who did not and they gave it to them and piled on because they were going to use it to bless somebody else. And may, Lord, we bless in the same way. Help us not to be stingy to where you take that gift away from us, but help us to give it on, to pass it on, to bless somebody else today, to bless these groups here today. So I thank you for it. Bless this offering and multiply it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Real quick, I'm gonna, I want you to bring up just a few uh, things that we'll talk about. Mark, bring up the next slide. Lauren Talley is going to be at Richland Faith. Richie, wave your hand. Stand up. If you can, this is Pastor Richie Hartsfield. He's going to be at Richland Faith. Lauren Tal is going to be there Sunday morning. Make sure she does searching. Searching. That's right. She did that with you. Can you stick around for a couple? No, maybe not. All right. So <laughs> next, <laughs> next slide. We have the Kramers coming Saturday, April 8th. That's the Saturday before Easter at Richland Faith at Richie's Church. And then one more concert that we'll tell you about here. Joseph Habedank will be here. That's the wrong date. That's the wrong date. It's going to be April the... May the 3rd. Man, Jason's on top of it. There it is. May the 3rd at Valley Christensen right here. So Joseph Habedank, the voice, will be right here back on a Wednesday night, May the 3rd, 7 p.m. All right, that's all it is for announcements. Maybe we get some music going, and you guys can do whatever you want now. I'll just give you some talking music. <laughs> Would you like it? Brother, if you keep playing, I got a license to talk, all right? <laughs> Given to me by the assemblies of God. They've entrusted me with that talk. I'll talk all night. I'm going to let you sing, brother. Also, we have some product with us, um, our latest record for the launch. 
lost is where the lost. I'm talking like I'm from Tennessee. Where the lost is found. Where the lost are found. Well, what's wrong with that? Nothing. I like Tennessee. I like you too. You're sounding pretty good, in my opinion. Our latest record just came out this week. Where the lost are found. Actually, Jason wrote the title track, and he co-produced and sang on the song too. So if you want to hear us sing together, you can check that out. We have a couple other records back there. Um, I wrote children's books. If you'd like to. Give your kids something fun to read, and they're actually true stories of my brother and I, Adventures on the Road. So check those out, and um, I'm gonna turn it over to you. You know, here's what I would love for every one of you to do. This is uh, there, this is the release week for the record, and um, you're here tonight because they have worked so hard. I would love tonight if you would take everybody would just take a seat up there at home. Um, it would be a blessing to them. And uh, it, it, some of you go, well, I don't, I don't even play CDs anymore. Well, who cares? <laughs> but anyway, uh, we ain't going to ask. You know, we, we, we're not going to date you or anything like that. So, uh, we would absolutely love for you to do that. And then, like she said, uh, those CDs are right there. We don't want to take anything to home uh, or actually to Israel. We don't want to do that. Um, and, and then that way Ashley can have a little spending money in Israel. So. <laughs> right, Ashley? She said, yeah, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's what we're going to do. This might be really fun. This could be horrible. It could be fun. So, pastors, come on up here. Y'all, come on up. And do we have enough microphones? That we got a couple? Give, give them theirs right there. And then somebody else give them. David. I love David so very much. You should have seen him up in the tree. I mean, I've never seen anything like I looked up there and he has a chainsaw hanging from one arm and he's going, Hey, Where's Amanda? I can't sing without Amanda. Amanda. I sure didn't mean to let you leave you out. I didn't know you were such a fixture around here. But I am very glad. So get Amanda a microphone. She's my favorite. Okay. <laughs>
God of the day is still God in the night. We talk of faith when we're up on the mountain, and the talk comes so easy when life's at its best. But then things change and That's true. Oh, we're down in the valley Oh, but don't lose faith for Child, you're never alone The God on the mountain is still God Just me, 
It's a Holy Ghost building. It's a Holy Ghost building. A Holy Ghost building. It's a Holy Ghost building. A Holy Ghost building for my Lord. For my Lord. If I was a singer, Lord, I'm working on a building. Well, I'm working on a building. I'm working on a building. I'm working on a building for my Lord. For my Lord. Yeah, it's a Holy Ghost building.
within myself that I would show the parents.
Y'all be seated for a second. I'm going to tell you something real fast. And then we're going to let you do something different. I don't know what, what we're going to do. We're going to do something. Uh, I, I want to tell you something real fast before anybody leaves or anybody goes anywhere. I, I want to tell you something really, really special and very important. Uh, I don't know how to really say this any plainer. I don't know how to do it any more creative. I don't know how to, I don't know, I'm, I guess I'm an artistic kind of guy, so I guess that's why I'm all over the place a lot of times. It's hard for me to focus. But I don't know how to articulate this any flashier than what I'm just about getting ready to say. Because I just want to tell you something very, very plain, very simple, is that Jesus loves you Amen. like crazy. Amen. He would rather die than to live without you. Yeah. Good. And he did. Then he rose on the third day. Yeah. And you know what's awesome? And listen to this, guys. Listen, this is cool. Y'all don't have to worry. I'm going to check it out in a couple of days. And I'll bring you back some news. But the last time I was there, the grave was still empty. Understand what I'm saying? 
Every one of us are broken. We're a mess. We battle flesh. We battle arrogance. We battle pride. We battle all kinds of things. And don't look at me that way. You do too. Every one of us is broken. And the reason that I like to share that it's because I want every person, if you wandered in the, off, off the streets or you came in with somebody and you thought you were just coming to a concert and you had no clue that this part was going to happen, and, I, and, and you're feeling, well, I don't even belong in a church. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You belong a whole lot more than I do or anybody else. I want you to feel exactly the same as everybody else in here because that's the way we all are. Every one of us, every person has to have, from Billy Graham, he had to have the grace of God. Yeah. You have to have the same grace Amen. that that man had. And your favorite ministers, and, and myself, and, and, and you, it doesn't matter if you're in a gutter or you're in a pulpit. Doesn't matter if you're a prostitute or a or a drug dealer or a Sunday school teacher. Still going to take the grace and mercy of God. It's the blood of Jesus that allows us to make it to heaven. Period. Nothing else. Not our goodness. Not our works. Some people think that they can do it by works. I'm here to tell you, you're not good enough. I know that's not popular with some people, but I'm telling you, you're not going to get to heaven on your works. It's going to be by the grace and mercy of God. Good news, though. Listen to this. Here's the cool thing. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Let me go ahead and tell you. If you confess your sins, he's faithful and just to forgive you of all unrighteousness. Jesus crucified and raised from the dead. What can I preach? I can't preach anything else. What else is 
going to do you any good except a risen Savior. One that has love like no other. One that, that, that would just would go through anything for you. And he did. Yeah, but you don't know where I've been. Yeah, but you don't know how bad I've felt. You don't know how bad, how, how awful that my life has been. You don't know what I've had to go through. You don't know. You don't know. And I hear all those excuses all the time. Like your sin is some match for the blood of Jesus Christ. It's not. I'll say that again. Some of you have passed your head. Like that. You'll, you'll be driving home tonight in your regular car because it'll hit you just like a ton of bricks. I said, your sin is no match for the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. Sin has to bow at the blood of Jesus every time. Quit acting like you're a better sinner. Then he is a savior. If you want an excuse, go ahead with your excuse. But if you want freedom, if you want joy, if you want peace that passes all understanding, if you're tired of waiting through all the garbage in life, and you're ready for some true life, are you ready to lay your head down at night and have some rest? Are you ready for some drama? To be gone? Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever seen anybody that just loves drama? I ain't never in my life. You bring up drama around me and I'll, I'll show you a crab that'll go in the shell. It'll turn into a hermit. An hour. That was good too. Listen to me. The reason that the commandments were given to us was because God knew we had to have guidelines for us to live a peaceful, joyous, prosperous life as best as we could here on earth. As best as we could. We're living in a sin-cursed world. But isn't it awesome that it gave us some guidelines that we can live? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 You might say, well, what are you talking about? I mean, come on. Yeah. How are you going to live peaceful and joyous if you don't obey some of the, 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 the ten, or you don't obey the commandments? Right. Okay, I'll, I'll do it like this. Watch this. Ready? <laughs> Thou shalt not steal. Why? You're going to get shot. <laughs> <laughs> Now, how are you going to live prosperous, joyous, and peaceful getting shot at? <laughs> you pull that hole in Okay, you hear that? Didn't do it for you? That's not the middle of adultery. Why? You're going to get shot again. <laughs> There's two bullet holes right there. You understand know what I'm saying? There's two. And I'm not even going to face the other ones. You understand know what I'm saying? Listen, it's there for well being. Quit listening to every bit of the world and all social media telling you how crazy Christians are and how they're funny that they're, they're, they're not. No. This life is peace. It, it gives you peace. Even when hell is broke loose in your life, it'll give you joy somehow down inside of you to know he's died. We ask this question. I said all that to say this. I know I'm supposed to just say. <laughs> I only get to come to Cali every once in a while. Preach it, and I love you. Yeah. And listen, I want every one of you, I want us to go to heaven together. Yeah. And I want us to live life to the fullest together while we're here on earth. Yeah. All right? Yeah. That's what I want for you. These babies, these kids... Man, don't you want to see them grow up yeah. and flourish in life and, and live out? I want to see that for you as well. And I pray you want to see that for me. Yeah. So pray about this flight. <laughs> Living for Jesus is wonderful. I'm going to see. I'm going to say it like this. Some of you, listen to me, 
and I'm, I'm not done after this. Some of you have wanted peace in your life. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Some of you have wanted peace in your life so bad that you have looked to things that do nothing better than to looking into or searching into. Satan comes to kill, steal, and destroy and sell you a, a bag full of lies. Leads you down a false rabbit trail and gets you there to take everything from you. Quit looking to the world to tell you how to be happy. Quit looking to things that people tell you will help you other than the cross other than Jesus. You're not going to find it in any material thing here on earth. If they're trying to sell you material things, it ain't going to happen. You hear me? Oh, but my friend said it's really helped them. Then you need to be telling them about Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. It'll get quiet. It'll get quiet. It got quiet on me last time I said that. And the enemy tried to attack me mentally after I said it. And you know what he said to me right when I was getting ready to, to say this? He said, go ahead. You know what we faced the last time. Wow. Well, let me go ahead and tell you something. You know what you're going to have to face, and you know what happened at Calvary, and you have to face it, and you can't cross the right now. And that's what you need to proclaim over your life this way. It's the blood of Jesus. And some of you have been living under bondage, and your mind is, is total in, in chaos all the time. Let me tell you something. It's tonight that we are going to surrender some things over to Jesus. It's tonight that we're going to make things right with Christ. It's tonight that we're going to take it into the throne room. Tonight we're going to lay it at the cross and give it to him. I'm sorry if you didn't like this. I don't good. good. Preach it, brother. You know what? I don't care. You hear me? I come to tell you truth. I come to present the gospel of Jesus Christ. I didn't come to tell you what some witch is trying to sell you. to take me out, he can, but it's up to him. Yeah. Amen. I want to tell you the truth. I want to send you down something that's dead in the road. Would you just close your eyes with me for just a moment? there be one in this house right now that says, you know what, I've been searching for peace. I feel like I've been looking in the wrong places. You can never get help. You can never get change. Thank you for this hand. You can never get help or you can never get change until you come to the realization inside of you and confront that. And admit I need help. If that is you, you'd say, you know what? I, I, I need some peace in my life. I've got to have it. I've got to find it. I've got to get it. I, I, I just I need it. If 
If that is you, would you just slip your hand up right now with nobody looking around? There's hands going up in this house right now. Hands right here. Hands right here. Is there another? Is there another hand? Here's a hand right here. Here's another hand. Here's another hand. I need peace. I'm tired of wrestling with this in my mind. I need peace. Anyone else? Come on. Here's another hand. Here's another hand right here. Is there another? Here's a little hand right here. God bless you, sweet man. Love you, Lord. I see your hand. You can put your hands down. Thank you, buddy. God bless you. Thank you so very much. Appreciate you. Is there a hand that would say, you know what, I've grown cold on God and I know I'm not where I need to be with him. I didn't mean for it to happen, just something happened and I took one step and I went a different way. I don't even know how I got here, but I feel so cold. I need to make a new commitment to Christ. Is there one? Here's a hand. Would you raise your hand? Is there one? Here's a hand. There's one. There's one in the back. That is me. Here's another hand. Here's another one in the back. Here's another. Would there be one tonight that would raise their hand and by that say, I've never really surrendered my life to Jesus. And I'm ready to do that. I've tried everything else and it's failed me. I'm ready to give my life to Jesus and try that. Would there be one tonight that would be so bold and to say, I know I need Jesus and I got to have it. Is there one that would raise a hand and by that say, that's me right here. God bless you. Here's a hand. Anyone else? Here's another hand. God bless you. Anyone? Here's another hand right here. Anyone? Ooh, my. Ooh, wee. Now I'm feeling it. Now I'm feeling the help, brother man. Feeling it now. Anyone else? Here's another hand. God bless you, sir. God bless you. Anyone else? We're going to pray here in just a minute. Anyone else? Anyone else? God bless, God bless you, buddy. God bless you. Here's what I'm going to ask you to do, if it's okay. Pastor, would it be all right to do this? I'm already this deep in is it all right if I take the kids and we can put the kids up here if it's okay to do that or, or wherever you want to. You want to do it over here? If you don't mind, I'm going to ask you if that's okay. And, I, and, and that'll be fine. I'm just going to ask to go this direction. Let me tell you something. God's getting ready to do something. You know that great is thy faithfulness, that track? I just want you to play the track just for a moment and keep it down low. The atmosphere in this house is completely changed. The atmosphere in this house, you know why the atmosphere has changed? It's because somebody's heart's crying out. Let me tell you something. When there is a broken heart that is crying out, that is in need of help, and they're looking to the Savior, he, stay, he, can't, he, he, he can't help himself but to, to grace us with his presence and come in here and to find one of his children that needs help and get to them. You can even feel it. The, the temperature's even changed in the house. Some of you say it was the, it, it's the air conditioner. Well, praise God, it just started working then. Here's what I want you to do. Those of you that said, I want to, I want to surrender my life to Jesus, it, I, I want everybody to stand just for a second. I want you to stand. Those of you that said, I want to surrender my heart to Jesus, and, and I want to give him my life, I want you to get up here right now. I want you to meet me right here. Don't even think about it. Don't wait. Don't ask. Don't, don't think, boy, should I go? Should I stay? Don't, don't do that. Good gracious, aren't you tired of just, aren't you tired of listening to voices? Come on. Come on. We're going to pray here in just a few moments. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, here's what I'm going to do, okay? Give me just a second and we'll go play. Come on. Come on. Come on. Praise him. Praise the Lord. There was, a, there was another hand that went up somewhere that I can't, I can't remember where it was at. And I'm not going to call you out for nothing. But here's what I want you to do. Please, 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 please don't stay in your seat. This night was ordained for you. This night was handpicked out for you. you. You've been kind of wondering, how did I even get here? What in the world's going on? What, how did I show up in the gospel? And this thing, and now this guy, his name's Cram, and he's crazy. Don't wait. Come on. Come. I'm going to give you a little bit more time. Come on. Come. 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 Yeah, come on. you to do real fast. I want you to turn to the person that's beside you. Before we pray, I want you to turn to the person that's to the right and to the left of you. And say this. Do you want to go pray? I'll go with you. Do you want to go? I'll go with you. Come on. If you want to go. Come on, I'll go with you. Now, some of you didn't ask nobody. Are you nervous as can be about asking somebody? I want you to ask somebody, ask them, say, do you want to go? Come on, I'll go with you. Come on. Come on. Yes. Thank you, Father. Yes. Come, come Thank you, Jesus. He can't do anything but lie. 
The very fact that he would try to convince you that nothing happened is the very fact that something happened. You turn it around and go ahead and say, Devil, if you want to testify on my behalf, go ahead. Because I know what the Word of God says. If I confess and I ask him to come into my life, then I'm saved. That's what it's worth. So whether you've made a new commitment to Jesus or you have given your heart to Jesus for the very first time, welcome to the family or welcome home. Doesn't matter. Whichever it is. What's your name, partner? Andrew, welcome home. I love you, buddy. Don't you know, God's got some great things in store for you. You know that too, don't you? I can tell it. You've got great things. Young ladies, thank you so very much for coming. What's your name, baby? Serenity. God bless you, Serenity. We love you, honey. Thank you for coming. God bless you. God's got great things in store for you. Great things. Now, Heavenly Father, I pray you have edge of protection around each and every one of them. I pray, God, that they'll fall deeper in love with you than ever before. And I pray that your spirit and your anointing would fall upon them. Lord, hallelujah, when they call on you, when they pray to you, when they read your word or whatever it is, I pray that you would just absolutely just cover them with your anointing and with your power and with your presence. May they feel the realness of you. We give you glory and praise and honor, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. I love you. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to turn to somebody right now and give them a great big hug. Whether you're up here, whether you're back there, it doesn't make any difference. I want you to give them a big hug and tell them you love them. I love them, buddy. I love you. I love you. God bless you. I love you, dear. Now here's what I'm going to ask you to do. I'm going to ask you to do me a favor before everybody leaves. You leave now. I pray your car don't start. <laughs> I want you to stretch your hand. Ashley, I want you to come down here right now. Thank you. Come here. Ashley, Brother Man, Man Clan, family, I want you to gather around us. And I'm going to ask you, please. Stretch your hand forth this way and ask that God would give us a shield of protection and a covering and what he has in store for us over in Israel. We are proclaiming that and keep his hand over our family as we are gone. Our family as we are gone. Will you do that? Hallelujah. Father, right now, we thank you for your love and your mercy and your goodness. We thank you for your man's servant tonight for the message that he's preached to us. And Lord, we pray right now. God, that you touch and move and minister right now. Lord, I ask for a hedge of protection about him as he flies, giving him a peace, letting him feel the comfort of the Holy Ghost on the plane, direct his every step, direct his words, let him be an anointed man of God that steps on the ground. God, there's great things for the pastor. Touch his family, to Shelly, and him, minister to them, bless and use. God, in the story of Father, in the name of Jesus, draw back the powers of hell, trying to give them the work that you want them to do. Minister to them, bless them, meet their every need, touch and encourage them. We thank you for it in Jesus' wonderful name. Jesus' wonderful name. Let's close in prayer. Father, we love you. Thank you for this night. Thank you for the opportunity to gather in your presence here. Your gospel go with each one tonight. Minister, bless them, encourage them, strengthen them, bless the pastors. Minister to them as they minister to their churches tomorrow morning. God, we thank you. We love you in Jesus' name.